What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new to the fam. Hit that notification bell. We taking it to Jacksonville, Florida tonight. Let's get right into it. Jacksonville, Florida, a city that has been making waves in the music industry with rappers such as Young and Ace and Julio Fulio. The Duval scene has took off with the beef in the city being put into music and the young man showing the world how Duval gets down. Sources allege in Jacksonville, the young men are taking over the streets. Shorties, between 14 and 21 years old, are really turning they savage all the way up in the city. With a lot of talent coming out of Duval, is also a lot of beef. It's a body for body type situation. With the hoppers in the city, young men lurking on they ops ready at any given time to retaliate or pop something. Let's talk about a group of individuals that hail from the streets of Jacksonville. PCE, or Problem Child Entertainment, an organization that was getting into the music industry and had a few rappers. PCE had members from a few different parts of Duval that all linked together to make music in hopes of making it out the trenches. But the streets of Duval was hot and the city was talking and painted PCE not just as a music label, but allegedly a violent street gang that were allegedly doing everything from hits to robberies, attempted hits, assaults, burglaries, theft, and trapping. Sources allege the group of young men and a few young women were affiliated through street ties in Jacksonville. Some say before KTA, Fulio squad as of now, a lot of Jacksonville rappers like Soldier K were affiliated with PCE. The streets of Jacksonville were allegedly filled with groups of shorties that link up due to neighborhoods or associations. They name their squad and go to war with any and everybody who want to smoke. As the alleged gang problem in Duval got out of hand, Jacksonville police wanted to get to the source of the rise of violent crimes in Duval. PCE will pop up on law enforcement radar, not as a group of rappers, but allegedly as a group of young shooters doing whatever to lock down a part of the city. Things will get crazy when allegedly on January 29th, 2016, a Tyler named Aiden was in a parked car with his mother and great-grandmother in front of their Sparing Street home when he was unfortunately caught in the crossfire of a drive-by shooting. Sources allege Aiden's big cousin was affiliated with Out East Gang and was the attended target with problems with PCE. Over the course of months after Aiden's untimely death and the last string of shootings, and other events will lead Jacksonville police down a rabbit hole in investigating PCE and other crimes in the area. Police were trying to identify the alleged gang members, even approaching a few, trying to talk to them about the consequences of their actions if an indictment was given to them. But sticking to the G code, a lot of members allegedly ignored the information and advice. On March 10th, 2016, some members of PCE would start being arrested as suspects in the shooting of the Tyler. Once police put things together, they would eventually snatch up 10 members of PCE, hitting them with the RICO, also hits and other alleged charges. Even alleging PCE were planning to whack a police, finding text messages between members, some already in jail, alleging they would use an AK and catch the officer sitting in his patrol car. Police was alleging in the indictments even girls were helping do hits, and PCE was using the music as a front. Members were charged with different crimes, including firearms, racketeering, and the most serious, the death of Aiden. Allegedly, some members of PCE gave information on others, and a few members were convicted on a failed drive-by attempt and sentenced to life in prison. Jacksonville police alleged they were already watching PCE, but the loss of the Tyler made the investigation even more serious. In some cities, the hoppers or youth run the streets. The old heads kind of fell back, realizing it's a different time and the shorties are way more wild and violent. With no guidance, it's the blind leading the blind. But once innocent people get hit, trust me, they coming. Because the pressure on police not only come from their office, but from the community as well. Allegedly, Jacksonville police only saw about 30% of hits, probably because they feel like the rest is just gang related. But remember, at the end of the day, 
we got to succeed, not to fail. So we won't be just another hood tub. Man, it's a crazy story, man. First and foremost, rest in peace to baby, you feel me? Like, a baby lost their life, unfortunately, due to what they allege, gang violence, you know what I mean? They say that the alleged shooters had a situation with his big cousin, that he was from another gang, and when they pulled up, they was trying to get him, he was standing on the front, but ended up hitting a Tyler. And it's crazy, because sometimes that's how it be, man, but you gotta come and get who you gunning for, you feel me? I don't condone in that, but definitely hit who you trying to hit, you feel me? And these young men, they got life in prison behind this. And of course, the group PCE, they was already watching them, and they had some talented rappers, and they probably could have did something, but when you involve that street element to what you're trying to do, it always end up bad, especially when the indictment start coming down and people start switching, people start talking about what they know, and then, you feel me, the squad split up because now they don't know who telling, and then, like I say, young dudes, 21, 22, going to prison for the rest of their life. But, man, I send my condolences and prayers to the family who lost that baby, man, because... That's a messed up situation I couldn't imagine. You know, they were just chilling in their front and the baby ain't had nothing to do with what his big cousin had going on. You know, that's an innocent life. And man, Jacksonville been wild, man. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the scene, but Jacksonville, they on some different type time, even with the music and what they be talking about. Like, they don't talk about nothing, but yeah, you feel me? That's all they on, they on that, you know what I mean? Taking hits, doing hits. Letting you know who they hit, letting you know who up, who down on the scoreboard. They kind of on that Chicago wave, but they took it to a whole nother level. Using pop songs, you feel me, switching the beats around, and basically going at they ops directly. But yeah, this was a big indictment in Duval. And man, like I say, I think the oldest person was maybe like 24, 23 years old. So a lot of them was like 19, 17, you feel me, these be shorties allegedly doing this but yeah man this is another episode of hood tales crazy story man y'all be sure to like comment share if you watch the video to the end i definitely appreciate you fam y'all let me know who y'all want to see next you can email me at tony two times biz at gmail.com follow me on instagram at underscore tony two times love y'all fam i'm out